Hi everyone, before we start glazing, I want us to understand how the glazes work. So we have 12 different colors of glazes and this is what they will look like after they have gone into the kiln. You will see that there is a number on each of the examples. That is to tell you which bottle to take the glaze from. Because for example, this is glaze number one, even though it looks like this in the bottle, it turns into this after it has gone into the kiln. So when you're picking your colors, I want you to pick from this, from all of the different little circles, instead of what looks what it looks like in the bottle. The other thing that I want you to understand is that you have to put a couple different layers of glaze down of the same color. This is what it looks like when you paint one layer of that glaze down. This is what it looks like if you add a second layer of that glaze right on top of it. That looks pretty good. This one, the first one looks much lighter. And then lastly, if you put a third layer of the glaze on top of it, it will look the darkest. So you should put at least two or three layers of glazes down um, in order to get a nice dark color. So you'll brush it on, let it dry, brush it on at least once more. Welcome back kindergarten. Today we get to add some color to our clay fossils. So the clay has gone into the kiln once and you'll see it looks much lighter in color. If you tap on it, it is definitely much harder. You still want to be careful with it. If we were to drop it, it still might break. So we still want to be careful and make sure that we keep our project as close to the table as possible. So we're going to be glazing our projects today. Um, and because we're doing fossils, you'll get to pick one of the colors to put on the front and sides of your fossil. Because I want my fossil to look like actual dirt, I am going to pick the brown color number 11. I am going to help you put because uh, it's a little bit tricky for the glazes to come out sometimes, I'm going to help you put a small amount of glaze onto your disposable paper palette. So this is especially for painting, but we get to throw it away when we're done. When it's time to start glazing, we're going to use our brush and it goes on just like paint, but you're going to notice it dries really quickly. So you're going to brush it on just like you normally would. And it might be a little bit trickier to brush on just because we do have all of these different textures in here. If you don't get everything, it's okay. You can see how much mine is already drying. So I'm going to put one layer on first and then I'll check back in with you in just a second. All right, so I have gone and put one layer of my glaze down. You're going to know when it's uh, when it's done drying because the glaze will not be shiny anymore. After you put on one layer, you want to go ahead and do one more layer of the same color to make sure that our glazes appear nice and solid and not streaky. So I'm going to go ahead and add my second one in. If you need any more of your color for this second layer, you can let me know and I'll give you more. All right, everyone, I have finished glazing my clay project. I did two layers of the brown color that I picked, and you'll notice I put it on both the top and on the sides. There is no need to glaze the bottom. We still want to be able to see your name. I didn't put too much glaze on. I am still able to see the textures that we added on. So you don't want any puddles of glaze, you just wanna brush it on. After these are all done, I'm going to put them back in the kiln in order to make the colors brighter and the surface nice and shiny. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Great job, everybody.